Kia ora, hello, I'm Philip Duncan. Thanks for joining us for our Friday weather update, recorded September the 8th. And we've got a colder change on the way next week, but before it arrives, uh, we've got warmer weather coming out of Australia. There is a storm near Tasmania, and that is going to bring in a windier, warmer change for the weekend in the South Island before it turns more wintry next week. Let's have a look at the bigger picture here. So you can see the storm near Tasmania, but look at the big high right over the top of New Zealand. So that's the reason why uh, it's sunnier today in many places. Uh, the winds are lighter and we had fog patches around this morning as well. So mostly settled around New Zealand as we end the working week. This storm will track down into the Southern Ocean over the next day, but it does sideswipe New Zealand as it does that. And then next week, a big storm down near Antarctica helps to encourage uh, windier, cooler weather for New Zealand. So we'll talk about that in a moment, but let's have a look at the rainfall coming in, up to 100 millimetres for the west coast as that system comes through, starting really on Sunday for you. And just a few showers up here, maybe 5 to 10 millimetres in that northeastern corner, otherwise dry down that eastern side of the country for the next three days ahead. So here we are on Saturday, high pressure parked right over the Chatham Islands, a good strong high that keeps most of New Zealand uh, dry, but it might be a little bit breezier as the day wears on. We've got easterlies at the top of the country, nor'westers building in the south, and that storm from Tasmania dropping down into the Southern Ocean. By Sunday, the rain from that storm finally moves into the west coast, and that blue line indicates the colder air coming in behind that cold front. So in comes the cold front, temperature drop, rain will then turn to snow up in the mountains and ranges. And by the way, over in Tasmania, that snow level is about 500 metres over the next 24 hours. It won't be quite that low for New Zealand, but does give you an indication that this is a little bit of a cold snap coming in for the start of next week. And so we do see a bit of snow in the mountains and ranges up to 25 centimetres for the tops of the mountains. And what you see here, that is not sea level snow, that is not that, it's just a, a light dusting on the hills and ranges that go out to the coastline, but more than likely above two, three, four hundred meters for those light snow flurries, but it might affect a couple of higher level roads. So here we are on Monday, that colder airflow goes all the way up the country, especially into Monday night and into Tuesday morning. So certainly wet for the western half and the top half of both islands, but those in the east, like Hawke's Bay and South Canterbury, you look mostly dry. Might be a little bit of spillover, otherwise fairly dry. By Tuesday, windy and cold down here in uh, Southland, that's probably the coldest day of the week. Not as cold as it could be though. I mean, if this was directly a southerly, it would be much more wintry, but because it's got that westerly lean to it, that helps keep the temperatures up a little bit and certainly keeps the eastern side of New Zealand dry. So next week, really, it's all about the southwesters and the showers. Colder air flows across New Zealand, that carries on here on Wednesday and through to Thursday as well. Another surge of southerlies up New Zealand on Thursday. So if you are in the uh, lower half of the South Island and the West Coast, next week definitely looks a bit colder, wetter and windier for you. But there is this block of high pressure over Australia that should drift in, we hope, by the very end of next week. Before I go, something a little bit interesting over in the Atlantic. Uh, this is Hurricane Lee. Yesterday became a Category 1 storm in just 24 hours. It is now a Category 4 and expected to get to 5 by the end of today. That is remarkable to see a storm grow that fast. So Category 4 right now in the middle. It is out at sea. That is one bit of good news for the Atlantic. But it poses a serious threat for the Caribbean. Caribbean, whichever one you want to say, uh, mostly to the north of the islands. They are all down around here, but this is certainly one to keep a close eye on. Could br bring in some massive storm surges for some of those island nations. That's all from me. See you again on Monday. Have a great weekend.